With me now, AFC Wimbledon Head of Academy, Jeremy Sawyer, and unmistakable face of uh, Wimbledon legend, Seb Brown as well, here at the Minicon for 2016. Jeremy, it almost wasn't on this morning. Tell us what happened. It was raining. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty heavy. I was down there at seven, Rob, to make sure that we were we were okay. There was a thought that if we had to, then we might go back to uh, the park down in Morden. Uh, but it was okay, the pitches aren't too bad. Uh, the pitches all got really good drainage. It's the off the pitch area that's the worst. It's a bit of a mud bath down the back end here. Um, but we're okay, so seven o'clock, putting the cones out, putting the poles out, we're up and running. We've got at least 200, 300 people here. The girls are, I think, three laps in, so it's all going all right so far. Remind us what we're here for, what's the cause? Yeah, the Minathon, I think it's the fourth year the Minathon's been done. Eileen Samuelson's obviously quite heavily involved in it. It's a Don's Trust event. Um, we're raising money. There's three separate races today, so 10 o'clock's the girls, they've just gone. They're raising money for their own department. We're going at 10.30, the boys, the academy, so we're raising money for ourselves as well. Last year we did 10 grand, which was unbelievable, so we've now got a really good performance analysis uh, department and towers and cameras that came off the back of that. And at 11 o'clock it's the main club run, so that's the Don's Trust raising money for the Don's Trust. And uh, yeah, we'll have Eric running in that and Neil running in that later, and we've got a few fun runs. I've seen a few pepper armies running around with the girls already, so it's all good fun. Well, we've got with us your newest recruit, Seb Brown. Seb, what, what's the matter? Why couldn't you take part this year? Uh, well, I tried to do some training. I was never a runner at the best of times. Normally, <laughs> golf is pretty quick, get it done. Um, but I did a couple of training runs and then my knees were in pieces. So I think the age, age effects are catching up with me at the young age of 27. So. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be really happy to see you back involved with the academy. How did that come about? Oh, I made it, well, I, I was working up in London and it kind of got to be a little bit samey. Um, so I sort of said, right, I want to get back involved in football and try and do some coaching. So I spoke to, to Hampton about doing their under 18s during the day. So, and then I ended up speaking to Jordan, who said they could, they could use an assistant um, as, as sort of Andy's moved on to, to new things. So all kind of stemmed from that. And then I came down and, and helped out with Jordy and, and sort of taken it from there. So. You enjoying being back involved again? Yeah, yeah, I think football in general as well. I took a bit of time out in the last season, um, so just to be involved in, in the whole sort of scene again. But yeah, I mean, to, to come here and learn, um, obviously somewhere where you've been, somewhere it's comfortable, and things like that, it's, it's a good sort of starting point for me. So yeah. And it just shows how much this club has grown. You just look at the turnout here this morning, it's fantastic, isn't it? I know, yeah, it is incredible. I remember coming to the, one of the first ones over at Morden Park, and it was, it was a good turnout then, but looking at, looking at it now, it's just incredible, the growth. And like Jeremy says, it's such a sort of big, big part of our, our fundraising as well, that you can do it and you can get those, those sort of extra things that do make the difference. And we've got some promising goalkeepers coming through. We've got a yeah, good little stock actually. Um, I've, I've seen a few of their games now because I've been sort of starting to do their, their warm ups on a Sunday um, for about a month or so now. So I've seen the odd Demi Evens um, in terms of age groups. So yeah, we've got a few out there that are sort of looking good. Here we go for the start of the main race. 2016 okay, minute on. And they're off. Impressive turnout here. Wet conditions this morning, but uh, that's not deterred the runners. Five laps to go of the training ground. And we'll be back for the uh, finishers. So we're well into the race now. As you can see, here's the chief executive. Keep going, Eric. Here comes the gaffer. Neil Ardley with Simon Bassey. He's carrying a bit of an injury this year, Neil, but uh, he's going to walk it. He's done his first lap. Keep going, Neil. He's got four more to go. Bass said he wasn't going to do it this year, but he's joined in in the end as well, which is fantastic to see. Well, we're well into the race here now. And as you can see, upholding the honour of the media team is the Fazakali flyer himself, Chris Slavin. Keep going, Chris. 2016 Minithon, we have Debbie Francis, Development Officer for AFC Wimbledon Ladies, and of course Emma O'Connor from the Foundation as well. Debbie, fantastic turnout here this morning from the girls, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. We're really, really pleased with the amount. We've got representation from all the girls' age groups, so, um, you know, big turnout for us, really pleased. Some good times from the girls this morning. How have they been doing? Yeah, they've been doing well, and even some of the ones from the real younger age groups, they've all, all done fantastically. A lot of them did say to us they were planning on maybe just walking the event, but they've all come through and we've seen them running the whole time, so we're really proud of every age group. Emma from the Foundation, this is fantastic, isn't it, to see so many people out here? Yes, a lot of us 
because we're all doing our different little projects, this is a good time or opportunity for us all to be we're here for one event, really, for one purpose, which is for the club. Because we're all all over the place, in a good way. All doing our games and our own thing. This is probably a good way to come and actually do a community, really, community day. Mm. How much does this help fund the foundation, events like this? Uh, it highlights the foundation. Uh, we are a small foundation. Uh, there's probably about six of us full time and then we have about uh, 18 coaches so we're not as big as maybe other football club foundations but our key is to work within the local community uh, whether that's with schools colleges university disability charities so on uh, we're really here for the, the community really Joby, just tell us about the yeah. growth of the, the ladies and girls this year because I mean the, the senior side is doing fantastic but the numbers are really yes. good at the moment, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, across all the age groups now. So, um, you know, a number of years ago when I started we had one team at each of the age groups. We've now got two teams right the way through from under 11s up to and including under 14s and then one team at every age group since then. Our trials have been really successful and, you know, that's part of just being a, a really good club and an atmosphere. We've got really good coaches and, uh, you know, really just really good time for all the girls while they're here so you know it drives people to want to come to our club and then that's a massive part of your job as well isn't it getting everybody involved in the community we've seen you on sky sports as well promoting what you do and working with the club as well just tell us what kind of a year it's been busy really busy but in a good way there's a massive growth in girls football um i think the more the more better the england team does I think the World Cup was massive. My mm -hmm. workload has increased. I'm getting more people that want to get in football. They don't have to be five, six, seven. I'm getting loads of over 30s, hence why I've got an over 30s ladies team. But then also I'm focusing on disability as well. So I've got my female Down syndrome team. And then I also want to be setting up a deaf team as well by the end of the year as well. Ideally girls, but it'd be starting off uh, for both boys and girls as well. And events like this as well, it's fantastic for bringing the whole club together, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, and you know, the ladies and girls section are now gradually becoming more and more a part of the main club. And to be yeah. involved in things like this is great for us. You know, when I first started, we were almost a completely separate part of it. Whereas now we are getting involved with a lot of these events. And, you know, it's great for us and great for the club. And finally, Emma, it just shows this true Wimbledon spirit that we've got, isn't it? Everybody coming out here. It's not been the, the best of mornings, but the turnout's been fantastic, hasn't it? Uh, totally agree. Plus, it's a Sunday. Most people like Lions. So looking at the uh, looking at uh, earlier this morning, where it was absolutely chucking it down, you've seen how many people are. It's very impressive. And then you see from the from the ladies and the girls to the academy to the foundation, and then obviously the first team. Just the outcomes, just yeah, pretty awesome. Well, here we come. It's Adam Harwood, I think, who's the winner of this year's 2016 Marathon. Well known in the AFC Wimbledon media press area. Adam Harwood, well done, first home there. And coming through in second place is AFC Wimbledon sports scientist Jason Moriarty. Come through the camera there. Second place to Jason Moriarty this year behind Adam Harwood. And notable finishers now, and here he comes, Chris Slavin. Another one completed by Slavo, veteran of the Richmond run, and the AC Water Minicom. One, two in this year's. I didn't think it was because I was sitting kilometres over by the corner of the pit. Jason Moriarty. What did you get? Comparing times with Adam Hall, okay. the winner there. 1719. It's been a fantastic turnout here this morning. Finishes coming through the line. Here comes Kitman, Robin Bedford. Finishing now. Here comes AFC Women's assistant manager Neil Cox. Busy week for him in terms of first team duties that he's got around. Well done, Coxie. Here comes Don Stan, Paul Raymond. Veteran of so many events. Well done, Paul Raymond. Just finishing now. Well done, Paul. That's the chief executive, Eric Samuelson, has finished. We were to possibly be the last time. Fantastic effort by Eric Samuelson there. You see his wife, Eileen, fantastic organiser of this event. And another brilliant year here at the Minithon. Well, I've interviewed a few Don's legends over the uh, years, but I've never actually interviewed two sticks of Pepper Army in the past at the 2016 AFC Wimbledon Minithon. Lads, tell us who you are. Uh, ben Green, uh, my lad Lucas is in the Under 9 Academy here. And I'm Ali Rawlinson, my lad Max is in the same Under 9 Academy uh, as Lucas. What was the idea behind dressing up as Pepper Army? We'd just like to bring a bit of lightheartedness to these occasions. Um, Al's inspiration behind the outfit. It's not the first time that we've dressed up uh, at a football event. We uh, attended a, 
a, a football tournament in Brockham last year and we were, we were assigned Germany as the football team and uh, Ben and I dressed in full lederhosen and there was two and a half thousand parents, none of them in fancy dress. So uh, that was a, a memorable day for Ben and I. We wanted to top it today dressed as sausages. How do you sort of motivate yourself on a morning like this to get up? The weather's rubbish, you get out here. What's the motivation to dress up like this and do this? Well, I've got three kids at home, so I tried to get out as quickly as possible. Um, and it was quite cold to start with, so this actually uh, warms up in the first lap at least. <laughs> What have you made of the turnout this morning here? Fantastic turnout. Uh, looking forward to seeing the, uh, the Academy boys race. Max and Lucas have got a bet. Uh, £100. No, it's not really £100. Uh, a £1 <laughs> and a lolly bet. Who's going to win? Uh, looking forward to that. Ben and I are not competitive at all, you see. Um, so. Yes, it's a great event. Good to get all the boys out together. Shame about the weather bit, but it looks like uh, everyone's overcoming the rain. Absolutely. Do you manage to get along to a few AFC Wimbledon games yourself? Yeah, we have done a few, yeah, yeah. And um, it's quite busy getting the boys to their games as well, but we've been to a few fixtures, yeah. So and the boys got paraded at, uh, at AFC when they when they signed their contract. They did a, a lap of honour, which was quite a memorable day, actually. So it was fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And we were at Wembley, of course, last year. Fantastic. The playoff final. So what, what was the uh, the choice in terms of coming out as Pepper Army then? Was it was there other choices available? I think available it was Pepper or Army Pepper? or Pepper Army. Yeah, okay. or, or redoing the Lader hose. I mean, the fancy dress box at home is fairly uh, extensive. fairly extensive. So this was this was one that we had two of. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all about raising funds for the club as well. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a it's a growing club. It's it's an impressive turnout here. It's it's still growing. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's really really good to be part of both today and with the boys as well. So yeah, we love it. It's brilliant. I think we've got to unmask the pair of you so the cameras see who you are. A couple of heroes. A couple of uh, sausage well heroes. Done. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Well done. Cheers.